Hello everyone, it's me again with another train update. You know from the first video of the train progress pass over 7 months now. So let's see what is new in this update. First and most important thing is a water system. This water system is really cheap and also has its own limitation. So let me explain how does it work. Select your train, then you should go to the train material part. Here first you should select in which part of the train you want the water plane. I want some water maybe in this region. So as you hover on this region, you can see the region number which change on the menu panel. So just type that region number as an active region number in the train material. Then you should activate override next pass. After doing that, in the material section, put a shader material for water. I have already a shader for water, so I will put that here and we have water. So the way this works, it is going to set the water material as a second material pass for train. This means we render the same train mesh twice. But as we render the train mesh the second time, it is going to start as a flat plane. Because in the second material, we don't have any height map. Let me show you this in another section. For example, I want to create a second material pass for this section. I just type the region ID of this region as an active region in entrain material and then I set an empty shader material for that. Now in vertex function, I adjust the height of my plane and in the rest of the shader code, I can write any kind of water shader code that I want. Also, you can set the active region to minus one, which is the default region for all of the regions. But also in this way, you can exclude any region that you want by clicking on overwrite next pass and leaving the material next pass in that region to be null. This is a good thing because we have the same LOD system for vertices in train also in water plane. And we just render the train mesh twice on GPU side without adding anything. But this system has its own limitation. The first one is that this system is not for creating an infinite ocean. Definitely you can create a large train with a large water plane, but not an infinite one. But I will consider to develop this train system more to be able to create an infinite or very very large ocean in future. And the second limitation is that we have the same vertex density as the train. For example, here for train we have one vertex per one meter. This means we can create ocean with wavelengths around 2 meter because we have one vertex per meter. But that is also in many cases okay because we can fake a small waves with normal map like this demo. And in this example, I use a noise texture for this water. And this has not a perfect wave. For a perfect wave, you should use things like Gernster algorithm. So what other new things we have in mTrain plugin? In this version of mTrain plugin, you can export for Android. I exported this Alien Planet demo which run around 12 FPS on my Android phone. By the way, this demo is really expensive and if you bring down its graphic, this will even work on Android phone. Another handy stuff which I added is info window for train. If you click on this icon on menu, when you selected your train, this will bring a window which contains some information about your train. For example, this train is around 67 square kilometer and in total has 64 regions. If you go to the region section, you can see the region pixel size. This is basically the region pixel size of your train. And if you want to import a height map, each region should be this size with this train setting. Also, the height map pixel size for entire world is this. So this is really handy tool and it will help you to understand the dimension of your train. And by the way, I will try to create more tutorial about how to use this train system. So have a good time and till the next video. Bye.